Welcome to the Enlight online tutorial series. Today, we're going to discuss some common special operating modes available within the Enlight device portfolio. Special operating mode is a setting within an Enlight output device, either Enlight Air or Enlight Wired, that dictates how the lights behave when presented with inputs from occupancy sensors, switches, and photocells. Special operating mode works in combination with a couple other settings to further adjust how the lights behave to meet different sequences of operation. We'll also talk about the best practices for adjusting the default settings of output devices, like power packs and Enlight enabled fixtures, to meet regional codes or other specified sequence of operation. Essentially, these settings determine how the space will function in different scenarios, like when we either turn the lights off and leave for the day, or say when we turn the lights off and wish to remain in the room. Today, we'll discuss normal mode, and the two subsettings, occupancy expiration of manual off and timed expiration of manual off, semi-auto and the semi-auto grace period, predictive off and its subsettings, and manual to override on and the option of adding a blink warning. A couple things to note before we get started. When we use the term lights, we mean any N-Light output device, like an N-Light enabled fixture, relay, power pack, or equivalent N-Light air device, Similarly, when we use the term switch or wall pod, we mean any N-Light device that's issuing switch commands on, off, or dim. These can come from things like N-Pod M series devices or, say, a switch channels set up on an N-Pod touch. You'll need a basic understanding of the N-Light network and sensor view software. If you need more information, there will be additional training information at the end of this presentation. Or, if you'd like even more information on what you see in these videos or to enroll in any of our instructor-led events where we learn about these topics in a hands-on environment, please use the QR codes to the right to visit Acuity Academy. Feel free to pause the video now. First, let's discuss where in SensorView we can find the special operating mode setting for the devices. You'll notice that we are in the Enlight Devices tab, and then the default settings of an output device. In this case, an Enlight enabled fixture. The normal special operating mode, in combination with occupancy and timed expiration of manual off, is the most common means of meeting an automatic on or occupancy sequence of operation. It's also the factory default setting out of the box. Normal mode tells the lights to automatically turn both on and off with occupancy information, assuming that there's an occupancy sensor installed in the same Enlight zone or room. If the switch is left alone, or if there are no switches installed in the room, the occupancy sensor has the sole responsibility of turning the lights on and off. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that most regional codes will not allow the lights to be in an automatic on state if they turn on to full bright. If left in normal, you will need to also change the occupied bright level and wall pod dimming adjustments in order to meet these regional codes. These settings are covered in a separate tutorial. In normal mode, when a switch is used to turn the lights off, the subsettings Occupancy Expiration of Manual Off and Timed Expiration of Manual Off will dictate if and how the lights will revert to an automatic on state. With Occupancy Expiration of Manual Off enabled, which is the factory default setting, the lights will reset to automatic on when the occupancy sensor's time delay expires, or in other words, when the room becomes vacant. For example, if the lights are manually turned off with the switch, and the occupancy sensor time delay is set to 10 minutes, after 10 minutes of nobody being in the room, the lights would automatically turn on when someone enters the room. If someone leaves the room and comes back within the 10 minutes, they will need to use the switch to turn the lights back on. Conversely, timed expiration of manual off tells the lights to revert back to automatic on after a specific time, regardless of occupancy information. After enabling time expiration of manual off, another setting, timed override delay, becomes available. This delay sets a specific time from 5 minutes to 12 hours, or even never, that the lights will remain overridden off before reverting back to automatic on. For example, if the lights were manually turned off with the switch, and the timed override delay was set to 5 minutes, the lights would simply revert to automatic on after 5 minutes of being off. The only problem that may arise with this setting enabled is if the user is still in the room when the timed override delay expires, the lights may incorrectly turn back on automatically, so please use caution when enabling this setting. A quick reminder, factory default out-of-the-box operation for Enlight enabled fixtures and other output devices has a normal special operating mode 
and occupancy expiration of manual off enabled. Next, we'll look at semi-auto. Semi-auto is used to meet manual on sequences of operation. Another frequent term used in the industry is vacancy mode or vacancy sensor, but think of it as manual on, automatic off. When semi-auto is used, lights can only be turned on manually with a switch, but they can automatically be turned off when the occupancy sensor time delay expires. The semi-auto grace period is just a fail-safe that allows lights to automatically turn back on following a false automatic off, where say the occupant sat still for too long and the occupancy sensor timed out. If motion is detected within this grace period, lights will turn back on automatically, but once this grace period expires, the lights must be turned on manually. The semi-automatic grace period can be adjusted from 0 seconds to 8 hours, but typically the 15 second default is adequate. The special operating mode predictive off is used to revert lights to an automatic on state after a user has manually turned the lights off if they intended to leave the room, but it holds them off if the user wishes to remain in the room. In predictive off, if a user manually turns the lights off, the system will give the user a set amount of time to leave the room. This is known as the predictive exit time. Once the predictive exit time has passed, the occupancy sensor will then scan the room for a set amount of time looking for occupancy. This is known as the predictive grace period. If, during this grace period, no occupancy is detected, the lights will revert to automatic on. If occupancy is detected during this period, the lights will need to be manually turned on with the switch. Predictive off can also be used in combination with occupancy and or timed expiration of manual off as discussed earlier for further options to revert the lights to an automatic on state. Note that predictive exit time can be adjusted from 5 to 30 seconds and predictive grace period can be adjusted from 0 to 60 seconds. Manual to override on is most often used for areas with no occupancy sensors or in after hours situations in which we want lights to be overridden on for a set amount of time. This mode essentially turns any end light wall pod into a timer switch. When manual to override on is used, following a manual on from the switch, lights will remain overridden on for the amount of time indicated by the timed override delay. The timed override delay setting becomes visible after manual to override on is selected and can be set from never to 12 hours. The user can manually press the on button of a switch and any time to restart the timed override delay. If never is used, the lights will remain on indefinitely until another command is sent to the lights, whether an off command from the switch or a global event like say a profile running from the eclipse. The blink warning feature also becomes visible after manual to override on is selected and, when enabled, will cycle the lights off and back on five minutes prior to the timed override delay expiring. This serves as a warning to the user that the lights are about to turn off, but please note the blink warning feature cannot be changed from five minutes. A couple tips and reminders to keep in mind when programming in light output devices. First, remember to use the Network Management tab when we want to change the behavior of multiple devices. Usually, when we're changing these settings, we're having to change multiple, sometimes even hundreds of devices at a time, and we can accomplish this easily with the Network Management tab using the checkboxes. Also, we can have devices in the same room with different special operating modes. As you can see in our example, fixtures 1 and 2 are being told to have a normal special operating mode, while fixtures 3 and 4 are being told to change to semi-auto. And finally, always remember to save defaults and apply now. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You've just learned about the most common special operating modes used in an Enlight system. Please reach out to Acuity Brands tech support at the number provided, or use the links below for more information. Keep an eye out for new content and feel free to send an email to learning at acuitybrands.com if there's any other topics that you would like to see.